Hello and welcome everyone. Today we're working with the present pop-up card kit. It is the third auto ship from the basket pop-up card kit auto ship set. And there's one more auto ship coming and that is the terracotta pot, I believe. And with this set, these are the things that we're gonna pull out of the box to assemble our card and we're going to start with the present base and the present itself and i already put adhesive on to majority of the places where we need adhesive because i'm sure that you guys have already seen a video with this being put together because anna griffin did one herself just um the other day and so uh i'm just gonna kind of go through it really quickly peel off all of my adhesive uh, and fold everything down and get it all put together now there is a point on this video where i put in the part that is the f part that um goes to make the top of the present pop up I put it in there wrong and I do end up fixing it later on but don't put it in there the way I put it in there the first time because that's not right I wasn't actually looking at the directions <laughs> and so that's why all right so let's go ahead and put this together don't forget to like comment and subscribe on the videos I hope that you guys are having a wonderful holiday season and if you have this kit or have made this pop-up box let me know in the comments below if you've sent it to someone um, how, how have they liked it you know a lot of people who I've shown it to have said we should be able to put something inside of the box now that would be awesome but I haven't figured that one out yet um, so we should figure out somehow how we could put something inside of the box and then it pop up and receive that. I know that we have the explosion pop up box and that that is something that we can do with that, but this one would be nice to do it with also, huh? What do you think? So I'm just removing the rest of the adhesive from the present and you saw how easily that present went together. And now all we have to do is apply it to the base. So we stick the B down to the B and then the whole um, present part of it will be put together. And all we have to do then is begin to put the bow on the top of the present. As you can see, this present goes together really quickly and easily, and most of her pop-up card kits do. This one, I was just really curious about, even though I've had it for a while, I haven't put it together because I was doing all my Christmas cards for the year, and all of them were faith-based, and so I didn't really real understand how I could incorporate this uh, card kit into that at the time so I ended up doing the nativity uh, die set for my all of my Christmas cards this year as you guys probably saw from my last video and so this is my first time pulling this one out and I'm just like okay so I've heard that a lot of people were having struggle with the top of it um, standing up straight when they opened up the card so I'm just really curious to see how that works and so I'm putting in the structure into the present but I put it in wrong so do not put it in there like I did and when I fix it then you can put it in there that way uh, yeah so let's just keep going so the bow is going to go into these little slots after you take off the adhesive. Now if you have double sided adhesive on there, it will be a little bit harder to get it into the slots. So um, you may want to actually use glue for this part because when I was trying to throw these, stick these, <laughs> not throw, stick them into the holes, it was catching on the double sided adhesive. And it wasn't a big deal, but you know, just something to think about when you're doing this. Now, I don't know who all heard Anna Griffin say that 
she was going to be coming out with these dyes next year around what did she say march yeah i think around march so that if you really are um loving the present pop-up and you want the dyes that go with it you'll be able to get it in march and what amazing cards you'll be able to make and just keep on you know making more gift boxes and gift cards with those die sets i love the pop-up die sets i think i have every single one except the cake pop-up um one which i actually want but it's just been so expensive and it's crazy to say that because i buy a lot of other things that are way more expensive but for some reason the cake pop-up uh, die set i'm always like hesitant to get it even though i want it i do want it Maybe I should go get it. <laughs> uh, complete my set, right? I always end up getting them um, during one of her sales or something like that. So. so hopefully if she has like a New Year's sale or something, I'll grab it then. I did try to get it at the last sale that she did, but it got kicked out of my basket for some reason. And because I was already way over budget, I left it out of there. I didn't go back and get it. Plus those um, sales go fast and furious. So if you try to go back and get something, you'll lose everything in your basket and you'll be disappointed. So I, I just, I'm gonna get it. I know I'm gonna get it. I just don't know when. All right, so now it's time to take the adhesive off of the top. It is now all assembled and put together and we're going to put that in so we have our g tabs which are the blue ones that go in on the sides and then f is not going to connect because like i said i put it in there wrong so we're going to try this even though it's wrong and then i'm going to take it apart and put it together the right way just so glad that I use double-sided adhesive. It's so much easier to fix your mistakes with that instead of glue because the glue sometimes will rip your project apart. So yay, I'm just really <laughs> glad I was able to just pull it right out and then stick it right back down. You see it was just like a, a little minor faux pas, but it was going to mess up the whole thing. It wouldn't have folded right, it wouldn't have closed right. So E has to be facing a different way than what I had it facing. And now we can put the lid back on and burnish everything down and move on to the next step. Our box is now all assembled and you need to push down on the top of the box to fold it on all of the score lines as this is the way that it's going to fold while it's in your card and it's going to create this like L shape looking area. I think it's super cute even just before I even put it in the card. But once we put it in the card, it is going to be even more amazing. So let's get going. So this is the card base that I picked out for this card. I really like the design on it. And I'm also going to be using a die cut from the Fancy Holiday Border Dies. There were three dies and I picked the this one. It looked very festive and it kind of matched the border. I feel like on this card. I also grabbed some flourishes that we're going to be using, two to be exact. They came out of the kit. That's why I really like kits. Everything's already in there and you just have to kind of get what you need. Then two of the hollies that are the long ones and then two of these wider, shorter hollies and then two white flowers and the sentiment that we're going to be using. And these sentiments, some of them in the kit are crooked on the, the base. And tell me, have your sentiments been coming out 
of the card kits a little crooked because I've experienced that a couple of times and I'm not really happy with that. I'm trying out a new glue, so I'm using the Barely Art Glitter Glue and I just got it. I ordered it off of Amazon and I'm giving it a shot to see if I like it more or less or the exact same as the Art Glitter Glue. And if you've used this glue, let me know. I'm trying it out and I will be letting you guys know. I'm going to use the whole bottle because, you know, when you buy something, you just keep using it. And I will use up all of it before I go buying another one. And also, one thing about art glitter glue, and the reason why I've decided to try the Barely Art Glitter Glue is, um, or the Barely Art Glue, is because the art glitter glue freezes in the winter. And I live in Colorado, and it gets cold here. And so when it's uh, cold, I don't want to order it because when I get it, it could be frozen and not work at all. So I bought this one for the winter time. And if I like it, maybe I'll keep on using it. But if not, then in the summer, I'm going to go back to the art glitter glue. All right, right here, we're going to make our own little um, corners for our card. So we're going to take the long holly leaf and a flower and a short holly leaf or a wider one and we're going to glue all of them together to create our own little corner and I really like this um, because it gives a little bit of a difference to the colors of the holly and it makes a really nice corner and also because you can kind of make your own embellishments so make them more fuller or bigger than what you've gotten in the kit and now you have your own little touch and collage kind of thing that you can put on your cards. And I'm just gluing them down, but I will be foam, foam padding them up on the card to give them a little bit of dimension. And I wanted to talk about the glitter glue, not glitter glue, sorry, the uh, glitter cardstock that I use for that die cut. I used the Crafter's Companion um, glitter cardstock, and it has a plastic coating on the on it somewhere that made that really really hard to cut out. So I tried to cut it out on my Empress, and it was giving me a hard time. And then I ended up having to go in and get out all the pieces with a craft knife. Have you ever? experienced that and what did you do to get around it because it was super frustrating and I have a lot of that crafters companion cardstock I don't want to get rid of it but I also don't want to be frustrated so <laughs> tell me what's your tip and trick for that plastic coating that is on glitter cardstock sometimes I know the Anna Griffin kind doesn't have it and for sure I'm not gonna buy that crafters companion anymore I'll just use the Anna Griffin but until I can get rid of it, I'm going to have to figure out what to do. So help, help please. <laughs> All right, so here's where I'm putting the foam pads on those uh, little corners that we created. And we'll put them right on the opposite corners of our card. And they're going to look really pretty there. So here's the first one. And they just add like the perfect amount of happiness to this card and it's with like little a little bit of embellishment but a big wow and sometimes we all don't want to use all of our um, embellishments on our card kit because you know they don't give us a whole lot sometimes when they're the card kits that are coming out in um, consecutive from the first one. I feel like the first one you always get more than enough. And the second one and the third one and the fourth one you get kind of just enough, <laughs> if not hardly any. And so, you know, I've sent them back because of that. I was like, this is not worth, because they are sometimes 54, $60, who knows, 59, 
And if you're not gonna give me the embellishments that I need to uh, make this thing look nice and work, then I'm gonna go ahead and send it back. So <laughs> I think this one had a good amount. I, uh, I liked what it had inside and you, I did have to uh, add a little to it, but I liked it. So I'm not sending this one back. I am going to keep it. I mean, it's been this long, I couldn't send it back. Well, I could actually because HSN has returns until July 31st, <laughs> but I'm not going to. I'm gonna keep this one. Tell me what you guys think. But this, the, even just the front of this card, it just makes me happy. I love it. It's great. And so after we get this sentiment on, wishing you a joyful Christmas. What a wonderful card. I mean, everything works really nicely together. We will now do the inside of the card. All right. And just remember, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video if you're enjoying what you're seeing. It really is uh, helpful to me. I'm about to be at a thousand subscribers, which is gonna be really good because I make all of my videos on my phone. And my husband told me I can get a laptop or a computer once I get to a thousand subscribers. So, hey, that'll be awesome. Maybe I'll even be able to make even better videos at that point. We'll see. All right, so I, I do have another of those two die cuts. I made two more corners. I have two more flourishes. And of course, our little box that's going in the center. And let's go ahead and put this all together. You can already see what a wow just putting on those die cuts does for this card on the inside. And now the present is going to you know give us that center piece that we need i put glue only on one side first i'm going to center it up on the card and then i'm going to go ahead and glue that one side down first and just make sure it's all ready to go and centered up before moving on to gluing down the other side i know that you can cut this in the center to make sure that it closes property properly but I think that for me putting down one side and then gluing down the other side works really really well the card still opens flat and there's no real bulge going on in that card if I do it this way so once I finish <laughs> figuring out exactly is it going to open and close the way I want it to? I will glue down the other side. Now this is where you're going to have to finesse it a little bit. I start by holding up a little bit the card base and just trying to get the part where the, the uh, crease is to glue down and then pick it up and apply the rest of it so that it will lay flat. I don't know if that actually helps or works, but that's what I do. And it seems to uh, give it the right amount of movement so that the card can open and lay flat. So now we wanna put our, well, we made some more corners to put on the inside, but instead of using them as corners, they're going to go in the center. And I offset them just a, like a little bit, just cause I like that point on that die and I really wanted it to show through instead of just covering it up. And they look really, really beautiful. It gives a, a really big impact to this card. The colors, the um, embellishments, the card base, everything just says amazing and you know you can just keep going and keep going and it's just going to get better and better but it was just a tiny amount of embellishments just a slight touch that's all that was needed to make this card and it just came out it was so easy and so wow all at the same time so i really like that when you can make something very impactful in a short amount of time with very minimal amount of embellishments and so the card is all finished 
it is gorgeous i absolutely love it it opens it lays flat and everything about it is amazing if you are loving this card don't forget to share it with a crafty friend so that they can enjoy it also well have an awesome day and we'll talk to you later bye